What's up YouTube? Max Reef here with another video on the Fluval Evo 13.5 gallon. Uh, sure you see a couple changes, but we're just going to do a quick little update video, show you guys some growth, and um, we'll talk about everything that's been going on. So as you may see, there is a new addition swimming around there. He is a bicolor blenny, and he is doing really well in this tank so far. I've had him for about a week and a half, maybe two weeks. Uh, he's eating really well, he's very social, um, he's learning to like me, so when he sees me, he comes on out. Um, so yeah, he's been a really good addition, no troubles with him so far, so um, I really like the look of him. Uh, another new addition, you may notice this big mushroom here in the middle. Uh, I picked that up at the LFS, it was actually a really good deal. I don't remember exactly how much it was, um, but it was very inexpensive, and it's a good looking mushroom in, in my opinion. Um, also new Recordia down here, the orange one, um, this other one here is kind of being blocked by the light, so I need to move him, but, um, yeah, just, uh, doing another quick little update. I know some of you have been asking for one, um, there hasn't been a ton of changes in the tank, so, uh, that's the reason for my lack of posting, um, also in the process of trying to buy a new home, so, um, just a lot going on with that. So, but, um, still want to try and give you guys some sort of update and keep you updated with the tank. I still do have the anemone back there. He's just angry about something, which is very rare. He's usually always out. Um, so yeah, I think last time I showed you this candy cane, he had about six heads on him and now he is just absolutely blown up you can see he's splitting even more there um one of my favorite pieces in the tank and it's really really beautiful at night um but yeah everything seems to be doing well um anxious to move the tank uh, i feel like there could be a lot of things that can go wrong with that but um i've been doing a lot of research on it and um, hoping that everything goes well i am going to take that opportunity while the tank's empty to kind of add more sand to the bottom of the tank. Um, towards the back, it's not too bad, but towards the front, I really lost a lot of sand just from doing water changes and whatnot. So I am gonna take the opportunity to do that. Um, not gonna add anything new before then either. So um, it's gonna kind of stay like this for a little while until I get settled in the new home and then we'll start to expand and even maybe upgrade to a bigger tank. Um, when I have more space. Another cool thing is uh, I've got another recording back there and it looks like he's splitting into. Um, so I've seen some really good growth out of all the corals in the tank. Um, I've been dosing almost every single day with the Kent's Marine A part or A and B um, parts. So corals seem to really like that. Um, but yeah, other than that, Everything's been pretty steady. This frag here, that's a little bit of GSP. It was actually right there. You can kind of see that bald spot on the rock there. That's where the frag was. So all of this GSP started originally from this frag. For some reason it died off on the frag and left that little piece there. So I separated it from the main colony. I'm gonna try and cover this frag again and maybe use it as a trade-in or um, put it somewhere else in the tank when it grows out. But um, that's what that is. Got a couple zoas down here. They've been there just trying to grow out the frag a bit more. Um, yeah, that's about it. There's the Blenny again. Like I said, he's very sociable. Um, not afraid of the other fish. And uh, he's been a good addition so far. I do need to find somewhere. I gotta remove this. Um, leather coral here from this rock and put him on his own frag eventually or maybe connect him to some part of the rock he's always done well on that little rock but the gsb is starting to take over a little bit so if you guys have any comments or suggestions or tips on that um because that would be my first time uh kind of fragging in a sense um coral so if you guys have any suggestions on that please do let me know um Got this rock over here. It hasn't been doing well with new growth. And I think that's because of all the Aptasia growing on it. Um, so I really need to treat that rock. Uh, it's just been kind of lazy on my part. 
Um, so definitely need to take care of that. But um, like always, I want to thank everyone for all the new subscribers, all the comments. Um, you guys are awesome. Uh, you know, let's try and get to let's try and get to 300 subscribers before May. That would be that would be huge for me. I would I would really appreciate that. Um, I know I say it almost every video, but I really am going to try and start posting more, um, keep you guys up to date. I want to keep doing new things to the tank. If you guys have any suggestions, comments, anything, um, you know, I'm still learning in this uh, hobby, as I'm sure a lot of you are. So anything that you have to say about the tank, good or bad, let me know. I'm always uh, open to suggestions and feedback, but um, yeah, just a quick little update. Uh, hope you guys are doing well, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.